got the uh, we just got the pigtail here for now because I don't have a pipe to actually attach the sensor. Um, so we're just gonna splice this into the stock AFM cable right here. Now the AFM cable, there's uh, four. One is for ground. Uh, one is for the potentiometer for the uh, temperature sensor, and the other two are for the the vane switch for the actual um, air like airflow. Um, so we need to splice this uh, air temperature sensor into cables uh, into the one and four slot. The one and four cables. Um, it doesn't matter what direction uh, you do because it's just a resistor. So yeah. Okay, so I have placed in the uh, intake air temperature pigtail and connector into uh, wires one and four. If you're ever confused, once you take the boot off um, of the of the AFM connector, um, it actually says on one of the sides the numbers of um, wires. So you gotta plug it into this red one and that blue one. And What's up guys, it's me again. Little update, it's like more than a little, but I finally attached the intake control valve. It's like not on very good because I'm pretty sure this, I ordered this wrong part. And also I made this little nub from the old brake line, uh, brake vacuum line. Um, I just have the uh, uh, GM intake air temperature sensor. Um, taped onto there for now um, and when I get when I start all the intercooler piping and all that I'll get that fitted properly um, I have the uh, the bungs that I need now as for the mega squirt um, I actually have the mega squirt so and it is now installed there's the old uh, ECU right there um, you can see I have the with the plug and play right here if you're wondering how I mounted it so basically normally the the ECU cable is on this side basically I just rotated it 90 degrees and stuck it back that way and I oriented the I don't know if you can see I oriented that wire like that so kind of kind of snakes behind the the actual computer for the gauges you can see they're looking very nice but I 3d printed this sort of uh, uh, mount to hold the gauges. I kind of copied uh, Garagistic and what a lot of other people on like Etsy and what and whatever, whatever they do. Um, I was going to put them in the AC spot, but I didn't really like how crowded it looked. I think it looks pretty sleek down there. Um, as for the wiring, how I did it was um, there's this little, very small gap like right right there basically uh, by the uh by the shifter and so i popped this boot up and i was able to uh, stick the wires in there from there i was able to basically just wedge the wire underneath all the way all the way to the back and i was able to loop the wires up and around through there and now you can see them just pop out right yeah right here so this is the uh, oil cable AFR cable and the boost cable is right behind it for the boost and the oil pressure I only need the gauges so I only ran them to the power and ground on the ECU on the mega squirt um, for the AFR however um, obviously I want to be using a wideband so um, and you can actually search up this search this up online there's a an option port right here and you can you can see kind of not really but basically I have them plugged into ports uh, 5 and 6 for power and port 21 I think is the O2 the oxygen sensor port So I took the white wire from the AEM 
uh, AFR gauge and put it in there. Obviously the boost line is easy. I basically just right here you can see I teed off the uh, the vacuum line that's already going to the mega squirt for the uh, for the map sensor. So that was easy. Um, and then you can see that I have the the actual right there. My thumb is the the actual pressure sender. And that was pretty easy, everything just fit together. Um, as, as for connecting the vacuum line to the pressure sender, I would just recommend soaking the, the vacuum line in some hot water and try to, it'll make it more malleable at least so you can put it on the sender. Um, for the air to fuel ratio and the oil pressure, both of those sensors um, obviously need to go to the engine bay and to the exhaust. So. There was a boot that is for the ECU cable uh, originally, and it was right here. Uh, it was where my fourth finger is right now. It was right there. But um, I removed that so I could um, easily put through the, the boost line and both the oil and wideband cables. Um, yeah, and so I haven't connected the oil or wiring yet because I just want to see this run on the, on the base map with the intake air temperature sensor, everything else being stock. Um, from there, I should be able to uh, start making adjustments, put in the wideband, put in the throttle position sensor, which is somewhere in China right now, but will come soon. And yeah, and then I can get the uh, oil installed as well. I have not uh, had the chance to boot up Tuner Studio yet, but I will do that in a second. So, that's it. Bye.